Greetings of peace. Have you ever wonder how to select cable and wire sizes? How about your protection devices such as fuses and breakers? If you do so, you are on the right video. So sit back and relax as we will tackle this for our next lecture. Part of electrical design plan or layout is right size selection of cables and wires. Although some master electricians do know and have enough knowledge on easy selection, it is necessary for an engineer to ensure that the electrical cables and wires are both safe and economical. Knowing such will greatly help us in high-rise building electrical design. However, we will be giving residential dwelling as our example. The main service panel is controlled by the main circuit breaker that serves as the primary disconnect for the power supply to the main service panel. Below or above the main circuit breaker, depending on the manufacturer's design, there are rows of smaller circuit breakers, and these are the beginning of the individual branch circuits that run to all areas of your home to provide power. In good engineering electrical design, the circuit for power outlet is separate from the circuit of lighting outlet. Here is a quick rule of thumb. For every single power outlet, 12 American wire gauge will be selected. For every single lighting outlet, 14 American wire gauge will be selected. But this is not always the case, we cannot assume that this will always be safe or economical, especially with multiple outlets or fixtures for branch circuit wire and main circuit cable sizing. In here, we have this table from National Electric Code or NEC. We have different tables provided by NEC for ampacity rating. But we need to consider factors on what to use. Copper or aluminum. Check the number of conductors. Conductor temperature rating. The ambient temperature. And by knowing your actual ambient temperature, we can select the ambient temperature correction factor table as well. I will be providing these tables in the descriptions below. However, for this example, we will be using table that has the following conditions. Copper wire. Not more than three conductors. 60 degrees to 90 degrees Celsius temperature rating. And 30 degrees Celsius ambient temperature. Let's go back to these tables later. Let's have some example. On this example, we will be having lighting circuit and power circuit. For lighting circuit, we have four lighting fixtures. For power circuit, we will be having four power outlets. Given data with 220 volts supply and 36 degrees Celsius ambient temperature. So let us solve the following. For lighting circuit, NEC states that 100 watts shall be the maximum load for each household lighting outlet. Adopting the 100 watts per lighting outlet we have. For lighting outlets multiply by 100 equals 400 watts. Thus by applying Ohm's law to get current required. Where, current equals power over voltage. We get, 400 watts over 220 volts equals 1.82 amperes. From table, for example we select 60 degrees Celsius conductor temperature rating moisture resistant thermoplastic conductor. 1.82 amperes fits to 15 ampacity rating for 14 AWG wire. But with 36 degrees Celsius ambient temperature, we get that it has correction factor of 0.82. So, 15 multiply 0.82 equals 12.3 amperes. Thus, 14 AWG wire is still safe to use. Although 18 and 16 AWG wires can still be selected to be more economical, but however there are some conditions need to be met, you can pause the video for these conditions in accordance to NEC. For our power circuit, NEC states that for each single receptacle shall be considered at no less than 180 watts rating. Having four outlets, we get, for multiply by 180 equals 720 watts. Thus we get by Ohm's law. Current equals power over volts. 720 watts over 220 volts equals 3.27 amperes. With the same ambient temperature correction factor at 36 degrees Celsius of 0.82. We get 12.3 amperes. 
Going back to table, we can select 14 AWG. However, NEC mandates that 12 AWG copper wire as the minimum size for all types of convenience outlet wiring. So we select 12 AWG. Note that the selection of wire or cable varies on several factors. Selection of circuit breaker or fuse for each circuit. We get this table. For lighting circuit with 80% maximum load, 15 ampere circuit breaker can be selected as it will still be safe for 12 ampere against 1.82 amperes. For power circuit of 3.27 amperes, selecting 15 ampere circuit breaker with 80% load of 12 ampere must be considered. However, NEC states that the minimum circuit breaker for 12 AWG copper wire shall be 20 ampere circuit breaker. Thus, 80% maximum load of 20 ampere circuit breaker is 16 ampere. So, we select 20 ampere circuit breaker for our power circuit. For our main circuit breaker, we get 1.82 amperes plus 3.27 amperes is equals to 5.09 amperes. Thus, 15 ampere circuit breaker with 80% maximum load can be considered. However, since we have 12 AWG for our connection, with minimum NEC permitted is 20 amperes, with 80% maximum load of 16 amperes, we select 20 ampere circuit breaker for our main breaker. So, here is the summary for our small electric design layout. I hope we learn a lot on this video. Again. Greetings of peace.